Hey there, gang. I wanted to comment on something very briefly this morning because I posted a video like, about, I don't know, a week or 10 days ago about gear tube being toxic because it was spurred on by something that Ben Jordan said. And if anybody would know, it'd be Ben Jordan. I mean, the guy's got hundreds of thousands of followers. He's a really kind of cool, innovative musician. And he, you know, demos a lot of gear, but he found it getting toxic. What I find toxic about it is that everybody's trying to sell you something rather than show you how to use it and how to make music with it in a practical sense. And that's what my whole, you know, <laughs> YouTube page is about, is like practical advice on how to do this. But some people took offense to it. And then I pull up my YouTube this morning, my feed, just what I would normally pop into my feed and look at, and it's people selling me stuff, pedals and gear and stuff. You don't need gear to make great music. In fact, and you, you, you all who have been around for a while know this about me. I've got a sh ton of gear, right? A bleep ton of gear. And it's not necessary. Is it a, a, a wonderful luxury? Yeah, of course. I love having it. But what I don't use, I sell. I buy everything I, that you see me use. And if I don't use it or it doesn't work out for me or I get tired of it, I sell it. That's the, another purpose of my page is that I want to try things so that you don't have to waste your money on it because I've made money in the music business. This is what I do, so I'm happy to do it. And I'm nearing the end of my career, so if I can share advice and save you some dough, that's a good thing. I just think that it's toxic. And what really blew my mind was there was a few or several people who disliked that video. What are you disliking about people commenting on that it's a toxic environment, that when a new product comes out, there's 50 people demoing it to sell it to you? Well, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Again, let's just make music and you don't need much to make music. You need a couple microphones, an interface, <laughs> you know, some pedals, and a guitar, a keyboard, whatever it is you play, and you can make noise. I mean, think about Tom Waits uh, during the you know the Bone Machine era, where he was like scraping chairs across floors and banging on pots and pans. You can be innovative without spending money. I still think it's toxic. So just have fun and make music and try to ignore all the sale signs on everything and all the YouTube famous demoers trying to tell you how cool it is. You're cool. Your music is cool. Make music. Have fun.